Hello, and welcome to Job Search Tools. This online presentation is sponsored by the Willow Creek Employment Ministry. My name is Fred Mattioli, and I have been a part of this ministry for over five years. I also have a partner who will be joining us later in the presentation. Her name is Casey Ramirez, and she will be going through some really important topics with you, including Boolean searches. So let's get started. Um, job search tools. Our objectives for this presentation and at the conclusion of this presentation is for you to be able to use the best web tools available to find job opportunities. We want you to be able to craft an effective and efficient job search and to be able to save it. We need you to be able to research companies effectively and quickly and to apply online in the most efficient manner possible. You need to communicate effectively in a digital world, and hopefully this presentation will help you do so. We're also going to be able to show you how to track your jobs that you've applied for so you can stay organized, stay efficient, and maximize your time during your job search. As you know, a job search can be frustrating, impersonal, unproductive, and feel very computerized. You need to stay focused during your job search. One of the things I did was keep two posters that really helped me. They were posted on the refrigerator because I often made trips to the refrigerator and it would help me remind me and center me through my job search. And the first one was, don't tell God how big your storm is, tell the storm how big your God is. And that really helped me to center my thoughts and to make sure that I was trusting God through the job search process. The other one that I also had in my refrigerator was you can walk in faith and you can walk in fear, but you can't do both simultaneously. And that helped me to realize that I needed to trust God during this search. It's very important to get yourself in the right frame of mind to do an effective and an efficient job search. As you know, finding a job is a full-time job. They say you should spend seven, eight hours a day researching, interviewing, networking, all kinds of things. So today we're gonna to show you some, some of the online tools such as search engines and websites that will help you to be very productive and help you to get through this job search in the most efficient and effective manner possible. The first one I'd like you to check out is the Willow Creek Job Connection site. At the end of this video, there are links on the screen that will show you how to get there. It's basically typing in willowcreek.needsmet.org. You will then log in with a user ID and password. And once you do and you set up your individual account, you will be able to see all kinds of free resources very high quality, very well done resources that will help you on your job search. For example, there's these training videos that you are watching right now. There are templates for resumes. There's interview templates. Everything that you need to do an effective job search and tools to help you land a job are all available to you on this job site. It's the first place you should start for your job search. That's Willow Creek Job Connection site at willowcreek.needsmed, willowcreek.needsmed.org. So when you go there, there's a whole bunch of resources on there, including job postings. Lots of companies post jobs all over the place, and some of them post jobs specifically on this website because they're trying to attract people that they want to attract on this website. So you may find a job or two that is unique to just being on this Willow Creek job connection site. And it's a great place to start your search because you could search by radius, how many miles from your house. You could search by type of job and you can get pretty specific. There's also um, weekly and virtual support groups called Hireways that are on this site. There's videos of these workshops. There's downloads available. 
Some of the downloads are excellent quality and will help you in your job search. Also, if you go to the willowcreekneedsmet.org website, they will have the ability to search for jobs and to even apply for jobs online. So that's a great place to start your job search. Another good place to start is on company websites. Because if you think about it, companies like to save money. And instead of posting their jobs on sites that charge them, they post their jobs on sites that don't charge them, like their own website. So a lot of times companies will post a job on their website before they put it out into the market. So always check the company website that you're looking to land a job for. The other sites that we reviewed that we don't highly recommend are Monster and Career Builder. Monster and Career Builder are really the McDonald's and Burger King of the job uh, search tool sites. Um, they have some good points and some bad points, but overall we found them to be not effective and not as um, efficient as some of the other sites that we've found. So for example, Monster and Career Builder all gain their financial um, structure from companies that pay them to have jobs posted on their site. Some of the things we found was they don't necessarily take down the jobs quickly because it looks like they have more jobs, so they then attract more job seekers. Um, Monster and Career Builder also um, aren't, aren't the best on the internet. There are far better sites, and we're going to talk about those in a second. The next one that we did find that we did like is called the Google Job Search Tool. And the Google Job Search Tool is very easy. You just type Google Job Search in your search parameters on your um, Google page. It will come up to a custom type application that has all the searching tools that you need. One of the great things about the Google Job Search Tool is that you can search for jobs with all kinds of parameters using your Boolean searches, which Casey's going to talk about later on in this video. Um, but also you can save your searches. You can share your searches and your results with other people, with yourself, and you can keep your own online folder of all your job searches that you've done on Google. Um, Google has a very robust search engine, as you know, and they scour the web looking for all types of job postings. This could be on company websites, it could be on um, public websites, but it's a good aggregator of all uh, jobs that are out there. You can also apply directly from your Google um, job search tool uh, through LinkedIn or through any other uh, means that you have available. The next one that we really liked was something called simplyhired.com. Simply Hired and Indeed are basically um, the same type of websites. They are called aggregators, and aggregators pull in information from all over the web, and they put it together, and then they offer it to you. Now, the way that Simply Hired and Indeed make their money is the sponsored results. So when you do a job search on Simply Hired or Indeed, you'll notice that the first one through 10 uh, job postings that you find will have the little word sponsored. This means that they are paying Indeed and they are paying Simply Hired uh, to have their jobs posted on that site. So if you just scroll past that, you get to the jobs that may pertain more closely to what you're looking for. And when Casey goes through the Boolean search parameters, you're going to be so efficient at searching for these jobs because you will identify specifically what you're looking for. Um, the other great thing about Simply Hired and Indeed is that they give you the ability to apply online um, because you could set up your profile, you could set up all of the parameters that you need uh, to apply online. And so it's a one button type apply. 
This is important for your job search because if you could set up a profile that has all of your information and you find a job when you do your search and you click one button that says easy apply, you just applied for a job quickly and efficiently. And if you can get five jobs applied for by nine o'clock in the morning, your sense of accomplishment really grows and helps you to go through the day and get that job search done. Um, Simply Hired and Indeed are called aggregators and they have a lot of good information. And we really like these two sites because I think they have a lot of customization and a lot of practical tips and help screens that will really walk you through some of this. There is um, a website called ziprecruiter.com and they are a new site. They are trying to get traction in the job search market. And what they're doing is they are putting a lot of money and a lot of effort and a lot of programming into their website. Found it to be a pretty innovative site. It does a really good search. Um, and the great thing about this, it's kind of like uh, the other three we talked about, uh, the Google uh, job site, Simply Hired, and Indeed. They're all aggregators. So is ZipRecruiter. Um, and the great thing is you could save the custom searches that you create in all of these uh, websites. And by saving them, you could tell the website to send you an email every day with just the jobs that you specified in the exact parameters that you were looking for it. So you can get very specific and have these emails sent to you every morning, every other morning, every week. You set the parameters as to how often those jobs will be posted and given to you. Um, it's really a great tool if you could have jobs come to you, fresh new jobs that just got posted will come to you in your email every morning. You open it up, you click on a few of the ones that you see that pertain to what you're looking for, you click Easy Apply, it's already nine o'clock and you've applied for five jobs. What a sense of accomplishment. So those are great aggregators and those are uh, websites that we highly recommend. The other uh, website that you wanna look at is industry websites. So if you're in the plumber's industry or you're in the teacher's industry, um, if you go to the, to the um, website for the Illinois Education Association, for example, and that's for teachers, they'll post jobs for teachers on that site. Um, it's something that you may not find in other places or you may not find them on other search engine uh, websites. Another commonly overlooked website is your old college alumni site. Um, sometimes jobs are posted on there uh, because the company wants to only hire people from their college. Um, there's also a high uh, degree of uh, colleges want to place people because the more people they place in jobs, the better it looks for their college. You know, if they can say our graduating class all 98.5% landed jobs that looks great for their college. So because you're an alumni, they want to place you. They have a very robust job placement service at most colleges. So don't be afraid to check that out, especially if you're an alumni of a college. Now, the next site that we wanted to talk about is LinkedIn. This is probably our favorite way to search for a job. And I'll tell you why, there's a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, you go to LinkedIn, you create an account, you connect with your friends and your coworkers. You join relevant groups that have to do with your industry. You tell people you're looking for a job. You demonstrate your passion and knowledge for your job industry. You stay active, you complete your profile, and then you search and apply for jobs on LinkedIn. Now, why is it so good to use LinkedIn to search for a job? Well, here's an example. Let's say you're looking to work at Jewel Food Store's corporate office, and you do a search to find a uh, buyer position at the Jewel Food Store's corporate office. And when you do that search, the job will come up, but in addition to the job that comes up from your search, 
you will see the connections you have to that particular job or that particular company. You'll see that you have three or four people in your group that know somebody at the Jewel Food Store's headquarters. And what you can do but by having that knowledge and those connections is that you could leverage those connections to help you get an interview, to help you get more information about the company, um, and to apply at the uh, job that you're looking for. So LinkedIn becomes a very powerful tool because you're able to leverage your connections and leverage the connections throughout the LinkedIn network to help you to find a job. They also have a very robust job search tools engine built into LinkedIn. Um, you can also do an easy apply in LinkedIn where it will take your information and it will send it to the company based on your profile. Now with LinkedIn, it's very important to know that you need to complete your profile 100%. Um, there's a lot of information out there that says that if you don't have your profile in LinkedIn completed at 100%, the likelihood of recruiters finding you is greatly diminished. So get your LinkedIn profile up to 100% complete and then start doing your job search and start leveraging those connections you have. You know, reach out to people in your industry, reach out to people that you've worked with, build those connections. Get those recommendations. The best way to get a recommendation is to give somebody else a recommendation that you worked with. And then in turn, ask them if they'll give you a recommendation. Now, recommendations um, are best if they come from somebody that you reported to. If it's a, a manager above you and they give you a good recommendation, it's kind of looked at as having a little bit more credibility and a little bit more um, uh persuasive power to hire you then if you get your buddy down the block if you got bob or bill to tell you know put in a um a recommendation saying that you are a great guy doesn't matter but if it's somebody in your industry a co-worker or somebody above then that counts more and has more weight when recruiters are looking at your profile so use linkedin it's very powerful and it will help you to leverage those connections there's a course online here and at Willow on LinkedIn that is very, very good. I highly recommend uh, going to that course or taking it online because it'll help you get started and really leverage the power of the LinkedIn um, program. Now, there's other job search sites out there that are more custom and have more of a niche type um, offering. For example, you know, you got snagajob.com for hourly employment. If you're looking for military careers, you got the usmilitary.com, uh, federal government at uh, usajobs.gov, labor department. Uh, there's a Christian employment site called Christian, Christian Job Wire, uh, leading job board uh, for temporary jobs. Um, there's all kinds of these niche type uh, job sites. And you'll find them on that slide that is attached to your presentation. Now, the important thing is when you're looking for a job, you need to do your research on the companies you want to work with. Um, you don't want to go to a company or land a job at a company that's going bankrupt. You want to be at a successful company that's growing and prospering. So how do you find out information about a company? Well, first of all, the first place to start is your local library. Your local library has tremendous resources available to them that they offer to their li library patrons. Uh, so talk to your local li uh, librarian and ask them what they have to offer in terms of job search tools. You'll notice they'll have things like Reference USA. Reference USA gives you business demographics. It gives you a directory of the management in that company. It'll tell you company news. Um, and it'll give you a competitor's report. Why is this important? Because if you get a job interview and you know some news about the company, it shows that you're interested in that company. Um, and a competitor's report. You know, if you know that the company you're looking for has a competitor that's gaining on them or is in the same industry, that may help you in landing a job. The libraries also have a database called LexisNexis. 
This is a very expensive subscription that only libraries can afford and very um, wealthy people can afford. Um, but you have access to that. You have access, access to it because you are a library cardholder for your suburb or your town. So you go to your library, ask them if they can, you can do a search on the LexisNexis search. This has company profiles, annual reports, um, and you can compare and contrast companies that you're interested in working for. Another great tool that's available to you is called the Occupational Outlook Handbook. And this is actually put together by the federal government. Um, and the website is listed on the slide. But what you can do with this Occupational Handbook is you can go to the site and you can look up whatever job you're looking for, what is the pay in my area for this job, um, is this job a growing field, or is it a declining field? If it's a declining field, maybe I need to retool my job search. If it's a growing field, where's the best markets? If I'm able to move, if I can make more as a dental assistant in uh, Chicago than I can in Denver, then I'm gonna move to Chicago. Um, there's a whole bunch of information that tells you what your job that you're looking for, what the job pays, what the pr perspective is on the job, um, and all kinds of information about that. And remember, knowledge is power. So you want to go and you want to look up um, all the information you can on the job that you're interested in. This is also very useful if you currently have a job and you feel that you're underpaid or undervalued. Go to the Occupational Outlook Handbook uh, on the web and you will be able to tell if they're paying you correctly for the market you're in in the current job that you're in. Another great site is called Glassdoor.com. Uh, they have a whole bunch of job search tools on there, but they're really known for reviews that people do on companies that they worked at. So if uh, I worked at company A um, and then I left company A, I would go on Glassdoor and I'd write a review. Um, you have to take these reviews with a grain of salt, similar to the way you would uh, take a review on Amazon.com. Uh, uh, some reviews are good, some reviews are bad. You kind of have to read through the uh, aggregate because some, some employees may have a bitter experience. Some employees have great experiences. Uh, when I was in my job search, I did the same thing. I went to Glassdoor to look up the company that I'm at. And there was a consistent theme throughout all the reviews was great company to work for. Uh, people are wonderful. However, they don't give raises. And I found that that was true unfortunately. Um, but yeah, you can, you can get a lot of good information on glassdoor.com. Um, and when you actually get through all your job search and you get your first call, whether it be a interview or if it's a, um, a phone interview. Now, if it's a phone interview, just remember this. It doesn't make any sense, but if you stand through that interview, you will do better. So what you want to do for a phone interview is make sure that you get all of your documentation in front of you. Make sure that you get up and you get dressed like you're going to work. Make sure that you stand and make sure that you project your voice throughout the interview. And remember, when you get on your first interview, it's all about problems. You got to remember, number one, I have no problems. Number two, I will cause you no problems. And number three, I will solve all of your problems. If you remember those three things, you will land that job because that's what companies are looking for. So with that, we'll go into the next segment and Casey's going to tell you some incredibly important stuff about Boolean searching and how to do an effective and efficient job search and how to keep track of what you're doing.